<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Tasty in Situ. Today we make palm nut soup. Palm nut soup is popularly known as banga soup. It's made using palm nuts. I'm going to be using two different kinds of protein to make this soup. I'm going to be using the catfish and beef. I'm sure you're wondering what ever happened to this catfish, but this catfish skin has been removed. It's sold like this. So everything has been cleaned out already. I'm doing some additional cleaning by removing the fins and whatever is left of the tail. But overall, it's clean and ready to go. When the skin of the fish is on, you could use some hot water to wash it some more. You just pour some hot water in it, leave it for a little bit, and then you can rinse it away. But this one has been cleaned out. You can see it's got all taken out. I'm gonna be washing this with just some clean water and uh, pat it dry. Next, we are gonna prepare the beef. I'm gonna use this nice looking one pound beef and i'm going to sauce this put some onions in it some bouillon cubes in it and pepper and salt and then cook it separately and i'm going to be using this for the preparation of the soup the beef is all chopped up into little pieces and to that i'm adding these onions I'm going to use my blender to chop this onion, so to say. I'm just going to put it in a low setting and with this blender you have a lot of functions and uses and by the time I blend it, this is what you get. Really nice chops. I'm still exploring the blender and find out all the other functions that are very useful. Now to a clean pot. We're going to cook this beef first. We have the chopped beef. We put it in. Next, we have the chopped onions. And we have the bouillon cubes, just a pair. And we have a teaspoon of salt. We also have a teaspoon of pepper. Everything heads onto the stove and we cook. First, we're going to be cooking with the juices in the meat to soften it up and then if we need to add some water to soften it some more because we do real soft beef yeah then we boil some water and add so that there's continuity with the cooking this is all the ingredients being mixed in it is very important that you sauce your meat really nicely because it determines what your soup ends up tasting like so if you sauce it real good, your soup tastes good. With the meat boiling away, we move on to the canned palm nut concentrate. This brand is Ghana Fresh from the African stores. This is palm nuts from a palm tree and the, and the extract is used to make this soup. This is the canned version of it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dilute this with hot water mix it up some and then we drain it off what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that we eliminate all the little gritty leftover maybe palm kernels that might have escaped into the concentrate we're going to try to eliminate that we're going to do it twice and so here we are getting the extract out of the can and I have that boiling water going and here it is the hot water goes in there and we try to loosen up that lump mix it real good like smooth it out real good so you get to see me stir it until it is as light as this and then leave it to sit in the bowl for a little bit maybe about 10-15 minutes just for the residue to get to the bottom of the bowl and then I decant into another bowl like I said the aim is to prevent the little residues at the bottom to get into the soup and so we slowly pour in and right about 
here you begin to see them ooh, 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 overshot we're gonna have to do this again but first let me show you the ingredients we're gonna use stockfish we're gonna use some crayfish we're gonna use maggi we're gonna use hot leaf pepper some salt some habanero pepper this soup is gonna be packed with flavor here is our palm nut concentrate that we're gonna sieve a second time just to make sure that none of it gets in to the soup and don't forget our already cleaned nice looking fish uh, catfish and lastly i'm going to be using this plant here this plant is the basil plant it is such a nice fragrant plant and it's going to be used to flavor this soup at the end but let's not forget our seasoned beef cooking on the side that will be going into the soup if you enjoy the content of this video if you like what you see subscribe share comment like stay notified by hitting that bell tasty in situ brings you cooking tutorials welcome to all my subscribers welcome to all my existing subscribers let's finish this soup up now we have this palm oil that we're decanting a second time and this time much slower thanks to dh he's doing a great job thank you and here we have that residue that we're trying to prevent from entering the soup and this time we got it right twice is very good we bring the palm nut concentrate to a boil and as soon as it starts boiling we add one and a half cup stockfish we have a third cup crayfish at this point if you have some dry fish a very good time to add that and here we have one habanero pepper if you want it a little spicier you could go with two and then you cover by the time you open this soup it looks very very different why because heat has been applied to that concentrate and the palm oil is beginning to cook and rise to the top in fact that is how palm oil is made now i'm adding my beef my seasoned beef delicious beef to the soup this soup pops a lot so you put it on a uh, low heat to add all these ingredients to it here I have my hot leaf pepper that I'm adding to it next I'm adding the catfish I have roughly about six pieces of this everything goes in there and the catfish should be cooking for roughly 30 minutes you immerse it into the soup and make sure that it cooks properly I'm also adding my bouillon cubes just squeezing a pear in there and I'm gonna add some salt to the soup and after that I cover and ensure that everything cooks nicely together a good mix and the soup is ready to go for some more cooking onto the final lap of this soup there are so many other traditional spices that are used for this soup but we are thankful for what we can get and so i'm going to be using this beautiful fragrant basil to flavor the soup and so all i'm just going to do is just chop a little of it and it goes into the soup in probably about the last minute of the preparation of the soup you don't want to overcook that to keep it fresh and here goes the basil into the soup mixed in and then we cover for just a little bit within one minute everything should be ready and there we have it a banga soup palm nut soup is ready to go palm nut soup could be served with any kind of fufu it could be served with even rice that is the quick report card my guests gave me they eat everything to the bone it's a really enjoyable soup enjoy